Um, and then we've got some news on Warhammer 3, Mortal Empires. Nice. Look at this map, fucking map, isn't it? Enormous. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about those blank spots of Ind and Kurish. Yeah. I mean, I guess they'll fill them in at some point or not, but you kind of need something there because... Are they going to add? I don't know. Ind faction? Because if you remember on Warhammer 2, the wall, the line at the end of the map used to be about here, and then they expanded it out to about here. Um, this part, like the Dragon Isles and Noblar Country, and all of this part was kind of was blank, like Ind is now, mm. and then they filled it in later with extra DLCs. So I don't know. I it's, personally it's, don't care about Ind or. But it's weird that you can, I assume, sail down from the Jade Sea mm. around these just like. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. Dead zones. Like, I'd almost rather they just had some random territories that they wreck on and change later mm. and just put whatever, uh, an empire faction, uh, just some random shit down there. Yeah, I guess well, like they did with um, uh, before when you had like... The Southlands. Well, like Astilia, uh, Tilia and Astalia. Like those just had random empire colonies, right? Yeah, um, just do something like that. Um, I mean, it's, it's so rarely is it going to matter. You're going to be anywhere near this bit, unless you literally start in the Dragon Isles or this part of Cafe. You're basically never going to see this. Probably, yeah. But That's a fair point, though. It's still, you know, like 5% of the map that you could be going near. Mm. Like, the fact that you can go around it. Um, but that's super just nitpicky. Um, I am excited. It looks good. Mm. Uh... I, things that I really like the idea of. Mm -hmm. I'm so sure they've had to do some squishing. Of course, I mean, there's limitations on the engine. I can't blame them for having to squish things up a bit. Um, especially uh, like with the Great Ocean, where now um, Ulthan is real close. But mm. I don't mind it too much. And it feels like if it's that close, you're not going to just end up with the. High Elves number one, yeah, which was ninety five percent of games. Yeah. Well, they now you've got some other factions fan. on there. Look, like the Slanish Demons start on Ulthuan. one, which is so cool. They, I think the Donut will take a long time for someone to actually come out on top there. Which seems great. Because mm. um, there's there more. If you scroll down, I think there's like more updates on. Oh, okay. No, they, they've released know. now like where the Orcs are starting. Oh, really? Um, so Skarsnik actually starts at uh, Carrot Eight Peaks. Hey, he got that. Well, starts at Car um, Mount Gunbad. She's like pretty close. Um, it was on their Twitter. That's where I saw. I saw their their things. Uh, what long pass? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Mm. Oh, look at that. So, like this, this looks really cool. Um, yeah, I love how they've split the demons up. It's not just like five different chaos factions all in the north, yeah. and it becomes like a north-south. Giga Alliance. Yeah, it's real nice. Now that, you know, you've got Slanesh over on Ulthwan, you've got Zinch down the bottom. Um, wow. We've got Corn in here. Really split them up nicely. Yeah, so look, there's Skarsnick. He's... That's basically like Harrogate Peaks. It's pretty close, yeah. But like having Wurzak down south, uh, Grom fucking poised to, like, yeah. into uh, Ulthwan. Great, awesome. I love that. Um, Azak, just he's going to be fucking fucking around with dwarves and stuff, and Grimgor just off. Oh, he's, he's off fighting man. the Chaos Dwarves, I guess, because he's going to lead like the Black Orc Rebellion, I guess. Something like that. Because um, this is all where Chaos Dwarves will start. Yeah, actually, and when they, they um, the Orcs is a like it's basically like, that area is populated by Orcs and Chaos Dwarves hmm. and Hobgoblins, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for like 
the mix of mm. uh, yeah it's going to be so much more chaotic and diplomatic than before it's looking really cool but this isn't even half the factions yet yeah yeah there's like loads loads more to be added oh look Plan Eshin starts over here which is great over so it's not just Cathay. a big cafe off there's going to be more factions in there Nakai is over here the lizard man guy he wandered he wandered real hard he, he used to what he used to hang out in Albion <laughs> wow god if the huntsman still has a grudge against Nakai he has got <laughs> a long way to go well does it wrap around can you can you sail off one side of the world and turn up on the other side uh, well, you'd have to go past Nippon and have the poop demons and uh, oh, yeah. Godzilla. Oh, don't mess with Great Gojira. Um. <laughs> it does wrap around, apparently. Really? Yeah, that's what they're saying in chat. Ooh. With sea lanes. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Okay, that's cool. Well, this is really exciting. I can't wait to try out the Mortal Empires. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, looks really fun. Mm. Um. Yeah, a bunch more factions to add in, but I just, okay, just want to be back in the old world with yeah. some of the new things. Yeah, some um, of the new stuff, but also stuff that I know and care about. Yeah. Very cool.